Hey, what's up, YouTubulous? EXO coming at you here with something mighty interesting, a little bit different, and potentially dangerous. So I wanted to start this video by saying that I do not suggest you doing this. It's just a video to demonstrate the power of lithium technology. As you guys know, a little while back, we posted a little one-by-one -one special with our jump starter kit, which employs lithium batteries. And it opened up a whole dialogue in the comments. People were wondering how such a small battery can pack such a big punch. A lot of it is over my head. I just know that there is new developments in something called lithium style batteries, and they're coming out all the time. So in this video, we're gonna put a little one-by-one -one to the test because I have a slightly beefier version, but I wanted to stress that by no means am I saying, go out and buy this particular style battery for car audio, it's really just to uh, you know, punch the point home that these little batteries pack such a big punch. This is just for informational purposes only. In fact, they have lithium batteries for car audio. Many manufacturers are coming out with them and even I am gonna be running some um, from the amp lab. I'm just waiting on my batch. All right, so here we are at our little station we've set up and we are almost ready to start filming. And it all starts right here with our battery pack. You guys remember the first version, made a video of it, pretty damn decent, saved my ass more than a couple times. So, we got the big boy. They increased the capacity, supposedly, but like I said, this is not what it is meant to do at all. It is meant to be used very quickly to supply current to your car to start it, and that is it. If it can handle this draw constantly, it is gonna be a great testament to these little cells, which I'm pretty curious to take these little Phillips and open her up. So stay tuned to the end of the video, who knows what's gonna happen. Since this thing has like a little relay type deal at the end of it, we're gonna leave that there for what little bit of safety we can put into this project. Oh my God! Look at all the little bugs crawling over this thing. Can you see them? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. We got these 10 gauge wires coming out of here and we're gonna plug them right up into the amplifier which is, has its own little alligators going right into the positive and negative. Looped right over through the remote so it'll turn on entry level sub here to our NVX 1200. Okay, so since everything's all protected with our little safety, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect everything. Oh, I'm gonna wear some gloves just to make everybody who may comment about safety happy. All right, already right away, we're getting a, like an intermittent beep here. I'm pretty sure that's just saying like, hey, don't do what you're about to fucking do. But we're gonna do it anyways. We're at four point some odd volts without the switch activated. So let's go ahead and flip this switch right here. It'll activate this little battery. It should turn the amplifier on and the voltage up to 12 volts. There we go. Amplifier is on. I'm gonna unplug it so we have some juice for our subwoofer. We got 40 hertz queued up on our cell phone here and we have the sound already clicked to on so when we click this bad boy in, everything will be good. It's definitely working. Check out our voltage, holy shit, that's not bad. Holding steady, going down slowly. I'm burping full volume on my cell phone right now, but she's definitely moving. Let me see if I can, oh, looks like the relay turned off on us. Goes right back up to 12.3. That was a pretty fast jump. Right back. See if we can get just a little bit more out of this. There we go, there we go. Drop her down, baby, drop that shit. Once it hits 11.8, I'll stop. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, that's full tilt. Still at 100% battery, not bad. Try it again. Amplifier clicks on, signal is sent. Jumping. I just clicked it on again. That's pretty impressive. It jumps right back up. Not bad, and there is no charging source on this whatsoever. This little tiny ass thing right here. So let's go down in frequency. 
just for fun and for video. I think I can actually make it stay on if I click and hold it. Let me try something. There, that beeped one more time and it's still going, so. See that response, it jumps right back up if the, when the volume changes, check that out. Goes down, give it a little less, jumps right back up all by itself. That's pretty impressive to me for a fucking battery. This little tiny ass thing. We'll go to 25 hertz because I don't want to have to twist my finger around that many more times. Turn the volume up a little bit, turn our switch on. Here we go. Nice. See that's holding the voltage a little better that time. Because of the lower frequencies. There we go, baby. Mm-hmm. Holding that to over 12 volts. There we go. Moving pretty good. I mean, this is only a 500 watt subwoofer, guys. Remember, I don't want to be wiring, you know, a full, you know, 1,000, 1,200 watts to this thing. We're at 90%. Not bad. And the thing's still moving. I'm still sending out juice. Huh. That's cool. So we definitely tripped the 30 second relay somehow. That's cool. Voltage is staying steady. Let's go over to a song. Say this is fucking awesome. Oh, got a text message. Doing pretty good. Recovering for those in those slight moments where the bass isn't jamming as much. Still staying above 12 volts though. Intense. I'm just gonna let it keep going. And I mean hell, it's above 12 volts. We did go a little bit below that because we were doing zero dB tones, and this music is probably at uh, negative five dB, so it's a little bit uh, different there. But I just want to definitely stress that I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy these little one by ones for your car audio needs. I'm totally just stressing the you know the power of lithium technology. Even though the brands that are employing these types of technologies are doing it in way different ways than this particular right here. This is definitely just for jump starting your car for quick little things, and it's it's fun for me to do this type of stuff. So we're still at above 12 volts. Still got some good bit of excursion there. All on this battery that weighs maybe, I don't know, a pound or two, not even. Let's go to a different song. Let's go ahead and check our battery life while we're jamming here. Still at 90%. I don't know if you can even see that, but it says 90. Right there. Jamming away. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to kill this battery in this video. Hell, this is already a, I've been recording for nine minutes, but I don't know how much it is on YouTube right yet. Still kicking ass above 12 volts. Holy fuck. This is incredible. Getting a little hot in the sun, so that's why I'm gonna stick it right here for just a quick second. Relay. Oh, the relay's getting hot too. That's okay. The wires are fine, but definitely the relay is getting hot. But if you're just using it to start your car, holy fuck, you could start your car 10 times over again and it, right in a row and this thing wouldn't have any trouble. Pretty cool. And you know, because curiosity is getting the best of me, I think you guys might want to stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna, I think I might want to take this little case off and see what's inside that thing, it's so impressive. Little one by one special over there for how cheap they are. What the hell? Cannot get over it. Sundown E making some noise. Let's go ahead and give it one more click on the volume knob. We're gonna dip into the 11s. I know that for sure. Ready for this? Here we go. Getting 11. Oh, it's coming right back up though. That's fucking crazy. It's crazy. I mean, this thing's almost, you know pretty much at full potential almost, I'd say. Let's go ahead and switch the song one more time. I just can't get enough of this thing. See how much we're pulling on this power wire. Nine amps. Okay, not bad. Let's 
voltage is coming back up. That was kind of an aggressive song there. The frequency was a little higher, uh, but we're still jamming here. Maybe that's because of the lithium that it didn't go right back up to where it was. But now you can see we're dipping into the high 11s. I'm not gonna go much past 11.8 on this amplifier. Oh, I went to 11.7, not bad. But you can see she's losing juice, but that's okay. And the relay just kicked out. Let's turn it on one more time. 12.7, not bad. Let's switch the song. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Where we at there? 12 volts. Yeah, just coming into the hovering above 12 volts. So I'm gonna let that last relay kick off be the last of it, guys, since we're pretty much hovering around that 12 volts. Holy crap, guys. Literally, I cannot believe I can play my amplifier that long to stay above 12 volts, you know, and when we're really jamming on it, just barely dip into the high 11. So pretty damn impressive, but I'm gonna say it again. I am not endorsing this type of use for this product. This is only for jump in your car, but you know me, this is a bass channel. You're obviously gonna see some haggard fucking bass head shit on it, but that's definitely a good illustration of how powerful lithium technology can be. So with that said, you can only imagine how excited I am to get my lithium batteries in the mail from the Amp Lab. They're not obviously something like this, but it's similar technology designed for car audio. So I cannot wait. It's gonna be a big boy, 45 amp hour, chucking it in the car, and who knows, there'll probably be even more plans uh, for Frankenstein. So stay tuned for all that. But in the meantime, this is EXO, doing it pretty small here on the lawn with my little one by one special. So be sure to stay on the lookout for more videos to come. This is EXO, signing out. Ha <laughs> ha!